Good morning guys, it's Lara and Hercules. Thank you so much for watching. So we just got up again because he woke me up for the first time at 5.25. He was hungry and he wanted to go out, but fortunately I was able to sleep a little bit more. So it's, I think, 10 to 8. We got up again and I felt like filming a vlog for you guys. So that's what I'm gonna do today. If you're interested in what I'm gonna do today, then please keep watching. As I do every day, I had a big glass of water before I was doing anything else. Starting my day with either yoga or any kind of sports is for me the absolute best way how to start a day. I feel like it gives me so much energy. My today's practice was focused on the core. The yoga class was as usual with Kino Yoga. Her channel and the video with my today's practice is listed in the description box. The training is, by the way, beginners friendly, so you don't need any yoga experience or any special skills for it. After I was done with yoga, I did a few stretches on my own. Today I focused on my back and I did also a few straddle stretches. By the way, the outfit that I'm wearing, it's an outfit I made myself. A tutorial is on my DIY channel, link is listed down below. And then I practiced just a few spins and a few tricks on the pole. It's been a while since I was training regularly on the pole, so I'm slowly building up my strength again. And I'm also getting used to the pole again. The thing is, I have a very strong fear of heights, which sucks. So whenever I want to train on a regular basis on the pole, I always need a little bit until I have dealt with my fear and until I feel secure again. It's a process, but I love sports, I love dancing, I love pole, so I'm still enjoying that and I'm just doing it in my own pace. So Jack made again a smoothie today. What a surprise, there is oranges, bananas, a lot of cilantro, agave syrup and cocoa powder. How boring for some of you probably, but we just love this mix. It tastes so chocolatey. It's kind of as though you had a dessert for breakfast and it's super yummy. So that's what I'm gonna have now. And I'm gonna take a shower. Currently, my favorite shower gel is Those Lemonade Days by Treacle Moon. It goes without saying that it is cruelty free and vegan as are all products that I'm using. This is my steel razor. It's so much better for the environment than plastic razors. I have listed link to the one that I used in the description box. In summer, I personally like using spray deodorants. So this one smells super fresh. Normally I use solid deo from Lush since it's being sold only in a piece of paper, but hey, a girl can make an exception. I've been using this body lotion for a while. It has a caffeine extract. Of course, it's vegan and cruelty free and it's also super inexpensive. I always start my daily makeup with an eyeshadow base. Next, I like applying a blush until the eyeshadow base settles. And then I always start with my eyeshadows. I personally prefer neutral shades. Today I'm using the palette Essential Eyes by BH Cosmetics, which happened to be also one of my favorite palettes. Then I curl my eyelashes and use any mascara I currently have at home. I haven't found my favorite vegan mascara yet, so I'm still trying a few brands. I don't wear foundations in the summer, so I just use a bit of powder on my nose and also on my forehead. My favorite powder is the BB Powder by Gosh in the lightest shade 02 Sand. For my lips, I'm using either a light lip gloss or just a chapstick. Today I'm using the Coconut Chapstick by Huro. I brush my teeth with a compostable bamboo toothbrush and I use a toothpaste that tastes a lot like good and plantis. It's super yummy. Well, and that's pretty much my morning routine. 
this is my outfit today i got this red top from my mom years ago i think it's about 10 years old and i even had to fix it today because um, there is shearing in the middle and also around the sleeves and it got loose over the years so i took out my sewing machine today and one of those elastics that are being used for shearing and i have sewn once more through around the sleeves and in the middle and now it looks like new so i'm super happy that i learned how to sew I'm really grateful that my mom taught me that because now whenever I have a favorite piece that has a little flaw that can be fixed, I can do it myself and it saves a lot of money. Plus, there are things I just get used to and I don't want to dispose of them because I love them that much, just like this top. Uh, and the skirt that I'm wearing was super inexpensive. I don't even remember where I bought it, but I know it was super cheap. It was like 15 euros or something like that. And it has this... Um, British flag on the front and also on the back and it's super comfortable because it's very stretchy My jewelry today as usual my big hoop earrings I just love hoop earrings and I have all those small earbuds with rhinestones and I went with about gazillion rings uh, Because more is more apparently so I have apart from my wedding band and from my engagement ring again my moonstone rings this one and here the lotus and the tree of life and i didn't put anything on my neck because i really like the neckline and i think putting on anything would kind of distract from this wonderful shape here yeah and now i'm doing laundry and in the meantime i will go to the post office because i have to send some stuff uh, that i brought with me from the office and then i'll talk to you guys later store i had to buy also beer because we are having friends over and levi likes drinking beer so he's the only one who's gonna drink alcohol and i have some stuff for grilling like giant portobellas a black bean burger bell peppers and those vegan cheesy sausages and i have also some potatoes tomatoes and an eggplant and of course tortillas because we love eating wraps so I always buy them, but I have to start making them on my own because this is a lot of plastic and I found a recipe that I want to try out. So maybe in the future I won't have to buy them anymore. For lunch, I'm making those delicious bean salad wraps. So I made a bean salad with bell peppers, of course portobello mushrooms, there is also an avocado, scallions, red beans and tomatoes, I think that's it. And then I added also a little bit of mixed lettuce on it and this um, grill sauce that I bought the other day. It's a little bit spicy but it adds a really nice flavor so I'm gonna wrap them and pack them in a glass jar and take them with me to the office. So here are my wraps, all packed and ready to be brought to the office. And as usual, I made a big bowl of the salad, so we're gonna have pretty much the same um, for dinner. We enjoy that, we like salad wraps, so we don't mind when we have the same stuff for lunch and for dinner. Let me tell you, I do not remember having our fridge that full. It didn't happen in a long time, actually. But of course, when you're about to have guests, then you have to buy a little bit more. Yeah, so it's pretty full. By the way, I still have here a bottle of Sekt, but no one drinks it because we both stopped drinking alcohol with Jack. So I guess I have to wait for some guests who enjoy a glass of Sekt. All right, I'm packing up. I have my backpack with my phone and the other usual stuff like purse and tissues and chapstick. And then I always have a fabric bag with me in which I put our lunch. So today it's a little bit on the heavier side since I'm taking the glass jar, but I really like that. I prefer glass jars to plastic. And this fabric bag is nice because um, I can hang it on my shoulder and then I have free hands for the giant dog that I'm 
bring him with me to the office so i'm not gonna take him today to the office because i'm really busy today there are a few documents i need to finish and jack is super stressed so i'm trying to support him wherever i can but once i come back i'll talk to you guys again i'm having a little break at the office so i went downstairs not far from our office there is a store with fruits and veggies and i got us a watermelon so we split it with check so that's what i'm having right now before i finish the rest of the work today i am back at home from the office it's shortly after six o'clock i'm not done though i still have to go through a few documents so i need to read a little bit but it's not so bad because if you have to read things and you don't have to write and think you don't have to sit on the table which means that i can take my work to the yard and to be exact i'm gonna be laying there in our hammock and that's where i'm gonna be working so it's not so bad Jack just called, uh, he said that he totally needs to clear his mind because he's been working so hard since the beginning of the week and he said that he's gonna be home in about half an hour so I'm gonna work for about 20 more minutes and then I will start preparing dinner and Jack also said he wants to watch a film he doesn't know what he wants to watch yet I suggested either Spongebob the film or Fight Club so we'll see what he's gonna pick or if he's gonna come up with some other idea and I'll talk to you guys then. Here we go, here is our dinner. I've already said that we are going to eat the rest of the salad that I made for lunch. So here it is, together with some vegan gyros and one roasted portobello mushrooms, one of the big ones. And there is the coconut yogurt that we are going to dump on the soy strips because it's so yummy. Oh, someone stole it. Aha! Uh -huh. Petty criminal. <laughs> He's so dorky. <laughs> and I love it. So, and we're drinking just water. And oh uh oh, there is trouble. There is a bird in our yard. And Hercules didn't spot him yet. But I'm afraid once he's gonna know, it's gonna be a scandal. Wind der Vogel. I have my chilla pants and chilla hoodie on. And now I'm going downstairs to check. We are going to watch a film. I have no idea what he picked, so I have to ask him. Oh, and someone has been waiting for his mommy while I was upstairs. Hi, Hercules. And here's my man. So I have to ask him, what did you pick? What film do we want to watch? Zombieland. Zombieland, yeah. Something new. Okay, well, let's do this then. So our screen is already down. So we are getting ready. That's the film we're gonna watch. So it's called Zombieland. I don't know if it's called like that in original, but it's with Emma Stone, Jesse Eisenberg and Woody Har Harrelson. And it sounds really fun. So. so that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumb up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet so that you won't miss any further videos. I have linked several other videos down below that might be interesting for you and you can also follow me on Instagram. All of my Instagram accounts are linked down below. So thank you so much for watching. We wish you a wonderful day and see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.